Meme coins have been one of the hottest sectors in crypto over the last year because you can make insane returns. And up until this point, we've seen a ton of meme coin activity on chains like Solana and Base. But just recently, 100x meme coins have been popping off on a brand new blockchain. And the results are absolutely insane. Like this trader who turned $1,700 into $20 million in just six days. So guys, it sounds crazy. Absolutely ridiculous. I even thought about including that in the title of this video, but I decided not to because it's unbelievable and almost nobody would click on it. But the proof is there 100% on chain. And it's not just that trader. Another trader did uh, $1,000 into $400,000 off of a different coin. So this is a massive momentum shift for this ecosystem. And this video, I'm going to talk about what chain this is, how to trade on it, where to find coins, and also how to track profitable traders on this blockchain. I'm going to talk about all this as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And while there's definitely some good opportunity to make quick money in meme coins, the absolute best way to make it long-term in this space is to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer. And I can show you how to do that step-by-step -step start to finish over at dappdiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. So one of the absolute best ways to make it in meme coins is to find new ecosystems that are meme coins are launching on before they blow up, okay? Especially when they're just starting to gain traction. And we have a new ecosystem that's doing this where 100X meme coins are popping off. So what is it? Well, it is, you know, checks notes, Tron. Yes, you heard that right, the Tron blockchain. So if you've been in crypto for any length of time, you know the Tron blockchain is not new. It's spent its fair amount of time in the top 10 cryptocurrencies. But what we're seeing right now is a massive rotation and meme coin activity happening on Tron for really the first time ever. So that's where these two insane trades came from that I mentioned at the top of the video. And it's not just these coins. You can see lots of others on websites like Dex Screener to prove that it's true. And if you check the growth metrics for the Tron ecosystem, you'll see that trading volume is absolutely exploding up and to the right. It's going parabolic. So for the rest of this video, I want to show you how to trade on Tron, how to find memes, and also how to find profitable traders on the Tron blockchain. And before we get into all that, obviously nothing I'm saying in this video is designed to be financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy or sell any specific cryptocurrencies based on this information. And always, you should never risk your life savings in meme coins because they are high risk investments. The absolute best way to make it in this space is to become a blockchain developer. All right, so that being said, let's first talk about how to trade on Tron. So let's look at the fundamentals. So Tron is an EVM compatible chain, which means it supports smart contracts written in the Solidity programming language that work on Ethereum. So it works a lot like Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Base, and others that you might be familiar with. So if you trade on any of these platforms before, it's gonna feel really familiar. So all the meme coins on top of Tron are ERC-20 tokens. So they follow this ERC-20 standard that has approvals, just like these other chains that I mentioned. Which means that you can also use many of the same tools as these other EVM chains, but I'm gonna mention some new tools in this video that you can use, and I'll put links to everything down in the description below. So first and foremost, if you're gonna trade on Tron, you need a wallet that supports Tron. So the most popular pick for this is the Tron Link wallet. I'll put a link to this down in the description below. It's a browser-based wallet that works a lot like MetaMask or Phantom if you've used these before. So you simply just go look for it in the Google Web Store. You can cl click that link, set it up in your browser, you know, make sure you back up your seed phrase, all the standard stuff that you do anytime you set up a new crypto wallet. So once you've got the wallet set up, you need a couple other things. Next thing is you need to fund your wallet with some cryptocurrency because you need funds to buy the meme coins and you also need funds to pay the gas fees on the Tron blockchain. So for the purposes of each of these activities, you can just use the Tron cryptocurrency TRX, okay? Um, but you need to get some of that into your Tron Link wallet. So how can you do that? Well, there's a few different ways. So if you use a centralized exchange already, like Kraken, Binance, or Coinbase, uh, you can most likely buy the Tron cryptocurrency on that blockchain and with just withdraw it to your Tron Link wallet. You'll just want to copy and paste the address and put it in there for the withdrawal. As always, test out a small amount before you send everything that you want to trade with to that wallet to make sure it funds successfully. But if you don't want to use a centralized exchange or you already have funds on chain, okay, you can bridge from whatever blockchain you're on right now over to the Tron ecosystem uh, with Rocket Exchange. So I'll put a link to this down in the description below, but what it is, is it's a bridge. So basically, if you have funds on block one blockchain, it's going to let you move it to another. 
So if you're on Solana network already or on the Ethereum network, you basically just select the network that you're on, okay? You tell the token that you're swapping from, let's say you hold some Ether, okay? So you're taking the Ether cryptocurrency from the Ethereum network. And let's say you wanna to swap to the Tron network. You just select Tron, you tell it which cryptocurrency you want to spit out. Let's say in this case, TRX, you connect your wallet, you click swap and it will move the funds over into your wallet. So again, there's a link for that down in the description below, but as always, when you're using these bridges, just use standard operating precautions that you would do anytime you interact with anything on chain, always knows there's risks whenever you're using bridges. All right, so now you got your wallet set up and you've got it funded with some cryptocurrency on the Tron blockchain. Let's talk about how to buy. Now there's a few different ways to do this. Let's talk about the first, you know, most obvious way. Uh, which basically is to do spot buys on a decentralized exchange or a DEX, because obviously these are brand new meme coins. Um, they're not going to be available to buy or sell on major exchanges, major centralized exchanges like you know Binance, Kraken, or Coinbase or anything like that. So you have to use a DEX for that, basically powered by smart contracts directly on chain. So the number one DEX on Tron for doing this is basically going to be SunSwap. Okay, so you can go to sun.io. And this is an exchange that works just like you know Uniswap on Ethereum if you're used to using that, or Pancake Swap on Binance Smart Chain, or Radium if you've used Solana. So in order to buy coins, basically you're just going to connect your wallet. You're going to tell it which uh, coin you have in your wallet. So if you fund it with TRX, then that's the currency you're swapping from. Uh, the currency you're going to, uh, you're probably going to paste in the meme coin address, the one you want to buy here. Okay, you enter in the amount, you click swap. And that's basically how it works. And if you're going to sell, it's basically the same thing in reverse order. But if you've never traded on an EVM compatible chain before, just know that to get out of that coin, it's going to be a two-step process. You have to sign an approval transaction before the tokens move out of your wallet and then the swap function. So if you only ever traded on something like Solana, that might be a new concept to you but just something to know before you exit your first position. All right, so that's how you buy meme coins on Tron directly with DEXs. That's the most obvious way to do it. Uh, but there's another way which has gained popularity in recent months, which is to what I call basically buying these coins pre-market, okay? So this became very popular in the last six months with websites like pump.fun, where basically anybody can submit a new meme coin idea, and if it gets enough traction, it's going to get listed on these decentralized exchanges. So Tron has a pump fun clone uh, called Sun Pump. Okay, so you can access it with the link at the top of the sun.io page, or you can just go to uh, sunpump.meme, all right? So basically, this does the same thing. Uh, what happens is anybody can list a coin. It'll start off with a tiny market cap. I'm just going to click on one, uh, just example purposes, obviously not financial advice. I'm just picking a random coin here for educational purposes. And it starts off with a tiny market cap, sometimes hundreds or just a few thousand dollars. And if people think this coin can be successful... They're going to buy it on this bonding curve. And if the bonding curve completes, okay, the project is going to successfully launch. And then the platform will actually create a trading pair on a decentralized exchange like SunSwap. Now, this obviously can lead to some of the biggest gains because you can buy coins that are tiny. However, on the flip side, this comes with the highest risks because, of course, anybody can just click a few buttons and copy and paste an image to create a new meme coin. And many of these coins don't actually meet their bonding curves and never trade on DEXs, so you have to be careful. But this is another opportunity to find coins before they hit the main markets. All right, so that's how you can trade meme coins on Tron, either directly through DEXs or what I call the pre-market strategy with something like Sun Pump, the pump fun clone. But now let's talk about how to actually find new projects. So obviously you can discover new projects like I just showed you in the last section with the pre-market listings on like Sun Pump. Uh, you can browse through the pages, see what's trending before it actually hits these DEXs. But what if you want to do it a different way, okay? Because not all meme coins launch on those platforms. Some just launch directly on the decentralized exchanges. Or maybe you want to buy a meme coin after it's been listed for a couple days to see what happens after the hype dies down to see if it's something you want to buy later. Well, to do that, uh, you can use something like Dex Screener. Okay. So, what is Dex Screener? It's a site that indexes pretty much every single trade on every decentralized exchange on every single blockchain out there. Like, it's a very powerful tool. So, I'm just going to pick a random pair on here. Uh, you can see a coin, click through to it, look at all of the trades, its price activity. Obviously, this one looks like a rug pull. So, not financial advice, but. You can see pretty much everything. So how would you use it to find new coins in something like Tron? Well, first, you can filter by blockchain. You can see the Tron logo down here. You can expand this out if you want to. Uh, but you can see all the trading pairs on Tron. You can sort by age. 
All right, so this is something that literally was listed within the last hour all the way up to the last four hours. And that's gonna show you the most recent coins that have been listed. You can also click on the new pairs tab, which will show you stuff even more recent, stuff that's listed from the last you know, 20 minutes from the past hour, okay? You can also apply advanced filters um, to see stuff like, what if I don't wanna see stuff that just launched? What if I wanna see stuff that launched in the last day or two days where the initial hype might have worn off where I want to inspect that and watch the price trajectory to see if I want to get it on the opportunity for more of a long-term play. Well, you can do that. So basically you can filter by pair age. Okay. So if you could do a minimum of 24 hours, all right, you could do a minimum of 48 hours to see stuff that's recently launched, but not just initially out there. You can filter by volume, transactions, all that type of stuff. You can mix and match these filters to your heart's content to find new things that you probably would otherwise not be aware of that other people are not looking at right now to get in our project early. All right, so that's one strategy for finding new coins is basically scanning the blockchain and filtering based upon new listings and all that type of stuff and looking at the activity. Um, but what if you want to look at other people's wallets, okay? What if you want to find people who have identified profitable trades in the past and look at their wallet to see what they're buying in the future and just monitor their activity. Well, you can do that. That's the beauty of this blockchain data is it's public and anybody can make sense of this data. And I'm gonna show you a really helpful tool for meme coins on Tron that will do just that. So I've got right now pulled up Dune Analytics. Okay, I'll put a link to this down in the description below. Um, it's a Dune dashboard that basically shows wallets that have traded on Sun Pump and it's got it sorted by their PL, so their profit and loss. So you can actually find profitable people this way, you know, based upon how much money they have earned through trading with TRX. Okay, so if they started with a certain amount of TRX, they traded stuff and got more TRX, it's a profitable trade. So you can do things like filter by uh, the P&L amount. So you can see uh, the total amount of TRX they've made. So this is like, you know, half a million TRX. The, P the percentage is kind of small, so it's like 5%. So obviously they're trading with a lot. Or you can filter by returns in terms of P&L percent. Okay, so this is like a 1,000% return, all right? All that type of stuff. So you can sort through this um, and also apply some intelligent filtering. So like, for example, some of these only have like one buy transaction and one sell transaction. That doesn't look like somebody who's like consistently making a profit, right? What you want to look for is somebody who's got like multiple buy transactions and multiple sell transactions with a pretty good P&L percentage Obviously, you would look at somebody who's in the range of the type of money that you want to be trading. So someone's trading with like, you know, 100,000 TRX, like that might be out of your league. But if somebody's trading with a few hundred TRX, like maybe that is within the realm of what you want to do. And similarly, you probably want to filter by somebody who has uh, traded recently. So you can look at the last transaction time because you, you don't want to find somebody who last traded like two months ago or something like that or a year ago. You want to find somebody who's recently buying and selling with the current trend that's happening. And so what you can do once you've identified one of these wallets, you can pop it into a Tron scan. Okay, I just did an example wallet here. This is not you know an endorsement necessarily, just for example purposes. You can see all the current assets they're, they're holding. All right, so they may not be holding a lot now, which means they're probably out of the current meme coin positions. But if you see anything new appear here, then that could be something to watch out for in the future. It's like, oh, there's a new coin there. I should go look at that. Obviously, you don't want to blindly copy trade everybody. That's a really fast way to get wrecked. But it's a discovery tool to find out about new stuff you may not have other seen. Check the charts, do your own research, all that type of stuff. Uh, you could also look at their you know, incoming transactions and sort of monitor that. So unfortunately, there's not a ton of advanced tools for the Tron ecosystem right now to easily like get alerts about this type of stuff. But an easy way to do it is just basically bookmark wallets that you're interested in and then sort of manually monitor what's happening through this activity tab here and what they're holding to see if anything changes. All right, so that's an overview of the meme coin explosion that's happening right now on the Tron network. That's how to get it set up trading, you know, what wallet to use, how to fund it, how to buy and sell, how to find coins, and also how to find profitable traders. So again, there's links to everything down in the description below. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Have you purchased any Tron meme coins? What are you bullish on? And whenever you finish leaving your comment, make sure you smash the like button down below and subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss time sensitive videos just like this. And while there's definitely an opportunity to make some quick money with meme coins, the absolute best way to make it in this space long term is to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer. 
And I can show you how to do that step by step from start to finish over at adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really want to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dap University.